So I'm going to be putting a label on my Dear Jean quilt that's being that's been accepted into the quilt show and I A, um, I've been collecting quilt label fabric forever uh, for about the last 20 years look little bears and everything so I'm just gonna go and uh, select a label now the information that they need is quite a lot they need the name of the quilt my address my full address my phone number uh, my name so a, a small label like that's not going to do it necessarily um, they can, they accept labels that are uh, printed off of a computer they accept hand stitched labels um, but I quite like because uh, I'm not that clever I quite like the um, look of cutting one out and then I and then I turn under the edges and I will be hand sewing up and as you can see again these are probably um, uh, probably out of out of uh, print so now what I want is because my quilt is so bright I'm going to be looking for something really nice and bright to put on the back like this is sort of a this is lovely but it's sort of like a homespun down home even though it's a sampler quilt that's more earthy tones um, and my quilt is really bright with a cape facet uh, what are these um, these are nice now that's more pastel I will fold these back up <laughs> what's this one counting our blessings now that's about the size label I want uh, because I will be writing all my information on it but I don't don't love that one again these are sort of uh, that that color the homespun looking color as you can see I've I've cut out and used quite a few of these um, that was a wedding quilt I made that was a label um, and these are nice now these are more uh, whimsical this one this this will that uh, perhaps more a bit more childish um, there's enough space there oh, that's a contender I quite like actually I quite like that one um, I don't know if there's enough space there oh, that they're, they're a little bit more juvenile uh, what are these these are pretty again I want to, oh that's a nice big one uh, let me see if I can read it this is the best day the world has ever seen my name is Margelo said the bird softly in a musical voice oh it's a little poem it's a little poem that's sweet and that's a size I like this one when you come right down to it the secret of having it all is being is that you do love oh oh that's lovely I like this one yeah these are all lovely so it's a, it's a choice between that I like those little quotes oh that's a pretty one but it's not big enough I love the heart, the true love heart. But again, and again, and, and again, I won't bore you. Um, I always say that, don't I? <laughs> I won't bore you. But and, I, and then I and then I proceed to bore you. Um, oh, these are some of my. Look at that. These are some of my literal, literally vintage fabrics from like 1970, 1980. Do you guys remember these? When these little tiny calico prints, and a lot of them were 36 inches wide. Yeah, look at that. These are ever so old, and I would be hesitant to use that because that red would probably run terribly. <laughs> but these are some, oh, look at the little sweet little prints. It's amazing how quilting has evolved over the years. Um, these, these tiny little prints were very, very um, popular in the late 70s and the 80s, and they're real sweet, real sweet. So I'm going to choose a label. Um... I don't know which one yet, so I'm sorry about that. I think actually I will go with something like this because it's nice and large. I really do like that. I like this one. I like that one that I, that one spoke to me and it has the red and it's just so sweet and I can get all my information. So now what they want, they want you to write it in, or as I said, um, they just want the information. But what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be mapping it out with a very, very, very fine tip. This is a Micron pen. This is an archival ink. It's not necessarily waterproof, um, but I'm going to mark it at ever so fine. So I'll print that 
or probably I'll have my husband print it because he has beautiful printing and handwriting, um, print all my information, and then I will go back with a waterproof marker here. This is waterproof, fade proof. It's just called a Zig memory system or uh, pigment ink, acid free, archival quality, light fast, waterproof, fade proof, non bleeding. And this has a fine point and then it has a thicker point but we'll be using the fine point to, do, to make my label. So I'll put all my information and label my quilt up and then I have to hand stitch this to the bo bottom right hand corner. And then we'll take it up to um, the quilt place to be uh, hung in the quilt show. Awesome.